There was a time when if you said the word bully, you would think of nasty childhood encounters in the playground. But the reality of life in today's Britain is that bullying occurs almost everywhere. Alex was bullied at school as a young boy. It wasn't all the time, but it was those comments that really did get to me and really did affect me and didn't make my school life at times great. Um, and that's just, that's, that's why I did what I did. It is possible to get your confidence back after being bullied and turn it into something positive. This happened to Alex Holmes, who decided to do something about it himself. Every seven seconds, someone in Britain is being bullied. I invented a role for myself, really. It was student anti-bullying coordinator, and I did a number of events, mostly assemblies, I produced videos which just really explored the issue of bullying. Every single person has the right to feel safe. And the point of this rhyme is that nothing is too small or too serious to tell to your teacher, friends and parents. Kings will do it well. This guy has actually helped every child in this school and all the staff actually develop as individuals. He's headed up the anti-bullying campaign. He's headed up the student voice. He's actually like a head teacher in waiting at the age of 16, 17, 18. This guy is absolutely supersonic. When he first came along, like it was the school was like really down, and then like when he came, it was like a, just like everything was lifted. Alex has always been there for me and other people in the school and he's given me courage to speak up for and like say what I believe in. It's lovely to get recognition and it certainly spares me on just to carry on exactly what I'm doing. How old are you now? 18. Put us all to shame. Put us all to shame. <laughs> it's not just about bullying anymore, it's about looking out for each other. This is a lesson in beating the bullies. incidents that are actually reported as halved. Everyone's like cheerful and we have smile day as well. What, where a you, smile day? Yeah, where you have to go around smiling to people and saying compliments and stuff. That's Sometimes a great it's idea. A funny, but... My name is Fengler McDawson and my compliment is that some people are strong mentally and will upset you and some people are strong physically and will hurt you but nothing is stronger than friendship and you are my friend. I'm Alfie and I'm Brandon and we're Smile Ambassadors. The thing I love about Smile Day is when people get along with each other and there's no fights in school and there's so much fun and everyone smiles at each other. The thing I like about Smile Days is when you walk past people and they're smiling, it makes me smile and everyone else smiles and we're all happy. <laughs> Now, as anti-bullying week finishes, we met someone who's determined to stand up for what he believes. The core message is take a stand against bullying and that everyone has a part to play in anti-bullying work, or whoever you are. Mr Holmes, we have a, a small announcement to make. Um, your very, very friendly and helpful pupils have nominated you as ITV Anglia's Teacher of the Year. <laughs> About a dozen teenagers will be doing random acts of kindness in Stony Stratford today. It's to try and Yes, from handing out free gifts and compliments to wrapping presents, the youngsters were determined to spread some festive joy. Bye. Bye. Anyone? Since Alex Holmes has come to Ratcliffe and started the anti-bullying initiative, there's definitely been a lot more positive behaviour. There's about 45 anti-bullying ambassadors. We do drop-in sessions for anyone who's welcome to come and we do patrols around the school for people who are lonely. You can go out around lunchtime or after school to see if people that are sitting on their own are feeling okay or if they're having a good day. So what we're about to do is a colourful reminder that bullying isn't tolerated at Radcliffe and it's an anti-bullying school. I now want you to think about the effect you can have on someone else. The moment you let go of your balloon, I want you to make your anti-bullying wish a reality. I'm really proud of what he's done. He has a passion and a focus and an integrity and he really has changed some people's lives and he is going to change the world. Now on three, I want you to let your wishes go. One, two, three! We're 
we're all different and that's what makes us special and unique. I'm Jewel Heritage, a bit of a geek and proud, and it has to be said, a little bit weird, but that's what makes me, me. It's all about celebrating individual differences and ultimately respect. Now then Alex old boy, just a couple of notes to let you know what a privilege it has been to work with you. You are different as a student, you know that, you're different as a young person, you're probably one of the most motivated people I've ever met and you've done wonders for this place and all the best in the future and I know you won't forget us but you're going to be something else when you're out there mate, good luck. It's a big perception that young people don't do anything for their community and you know, the, sometimes they're portrayed in a really negative way. This is about challenging the stereotype and showing that young people can make a difference. I think the best people to beat bullying are you. Back at his old school, though, it's Alex who's the celebrity running his anti-bullying workshops. And perhaps that's the point. For all the celebrity campaigns, for all the sermonising, when it comes to beating bullying, it's not about what you say, but what you do. Katie Stallard, Sky News. Alex, good luck in the future. Thank you. Beat the bullies! I will. Beat the bullies! Talented teachers and talented students, they, they're the ones that have inspired me.